I just want to state before this game start that this is a rated M game, so viewer discretion is highly advised. And at this point, if you still in here, I'm going to be saying all kind of different shit. So if you under the age and your people around, I highly suggest you put some headphones on and turn the volume down. If not, sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the man of Medid, uh, Medan, is it Medan? I think it is what it is. Let's play by your boy. This is going to be hilarious. I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to play this as if I was playing in a, in a horror film. So I'm not saving nobody. I'm letting y'all know that right now. And um, I don't got no more talking. Let's go on start. It shouldn't be no, of course I agree. I'm not, skip to the end. Nobody reading that. Skip to the end. Nobody reading that. Turn that brightness up. Hit about seven, 70. We'll do 70. That, that my boy Jersey number. Uh, don't play alone. Settings, turn them subtitles on. Because some of y'all, like y'all can't hear. And where is it at? Everything is up to 100 and tug them subtitles on. Do you want to say the current settings? Yes. And damn, it's slow ass menu. Movie night. Press the dual shot control and control and play the story it's supporting. No. Play alone. I want to play this by myself. New story. Let's go. Chinese market. China. South Sea. I got my Powerade right here. They had them on sale 58 cents. I normally drink Gatorade, but for 58 cents, I mean, you can't pass up on that. Yeah, man, I think this supposed to be. I was gonna wait for this game to go like dumb cheap, but. All right, man, no talking. Move y'all. What is this mess on my phone? I got just his mic, man. I can't see the, the damn stem in the way. There you go. Is these caskets? What is these? I'm looking at my green screen through the TV, and this hole is hella crooked right now. <laughs> I'm not finna lie to y'all, that hoe is crooked. That hoe is slanted like that. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Somebody too drunk. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. You can can I fight? Hell no, he can't fight. Give me a quarter. Quarter? Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You have a question? Uh, he got a son? Tell us about the son then. Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? Your son gonna be a lizard. Lizard bamboo. Uh, go. Why y'all gonna make me choose with this? Oh, okay. Go with the bamboo. Come on, this one. It is that a salmon? Looks like a fish. What is that? Salmon? Nita's high full. Colonel Lights is in her function. Then, sir, don't take your phone tree lie. Delphin Doom. 
death. Oh, hell no. See, I, you can pay the quarter to listen to this. What does that mean? You finna die. Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Oh, Joe, what you got going on over here? You selfish, reckless, insecure? Oh, oh, okay. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? I can do better, too. We go back there in the back. Sure. Let me know the quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. Damn, you broke-ass dudes. You ain't got no damn money. You ain't got a quarter on you. I'll give it a whirl. Let me sit up. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Hey, woman, don't be coming over here turning this stuff up now. <clears throat> oh, he got them hands. Oh. Damn, they gonna beat your ass? <clears throat> oh, this this easy, bro. I can't fight, woman. I ain't got hit yet. What you talking about? I bet you won't step over here. Oh, them things is speeding up on my black ass. Ooh -wee. Oh, I'm, I barely made that one. Oh, I barely made that one. Ooh we. One of them finna clock you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Karate? You know it. Well, you straight boxer. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. I don't know what you want to go back for. You finna die. I'm I already said that. I'm glad this game came out after I did my cruise. That's all I'm gonna say. <coughs> what is that? I wouldn't expect that. I hope they win bodies, cause they was, they come back to life. Then I got this, the, the pet cemetery. Somebody finna die tonight.
Joe, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like how this is going so far. That's your son you were talking about? Yeah, your little son look like like he he like he gonna grow up and say a certain word and I'm not gonna repeat on here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. To Pops, come back soon. They locked you inside the room with a lock inside. That sound about right, and I bet the key's somewhere in here too. Oh, I wasn't expecting that now. Well, to go to key, we can always get out of here now. Grab the key, don't touch nothing else. Having a buddy, he died from what the hell he died from? Oh, this game really like a movie. I thought we were still in a uh, cutscene. out of here already what the hell's going on up there I heard aircraft and gunfire me too and there was a a corpse what in the sick bay something's wrong let's get out of here you just not figuring out there's something wrong at the what time i he heard gunfire and there now all of a sudden there's something wrong well we should have been got out of here <laughs> hey man <laughs> keep calm Press X in time in a heartbeat. Oh, I like this. Do I gotta hold it down? Do not panic, bro. What are they shooting? J um, oh yeah, stay in the front just in case something like that happened again. We out of here. Charlie, stay in the front. I don't know. Keep walking. Stay in the front. You heard me, white boy. What was that? Who look here? Man, this game ain't this game ain't good for me, bro. There's a lot of jump scares. Wait, go this way first. Hey, Charlie, help! I almost. You still gonna keep trying to go in there after you just seen buddy brain gunshot and some more you still trying to go in there what in the world hold on y'all something's happening on my phone real quick oh okay I had to make sure it might have been something important you know Never know that these days. God damn. Another stick? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. The hell happened to the people on this ship? <clears throat> I 
Where the hell did Charlie go? Oh, right, right there in front of me. Bro, we've been playing this game for 16, 15, 14, 13 minutes. And, Cause it says 17 over here, but it's probably about 13. Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess. You need to, cause we finna die. I ain't don't. Shit. Hey, Chuck? You see what I'm talking about, bro? Uh no? You feeling alright? Man, turn this mess down, cause this is what's getting me, bro. It's not the fact that it's just a loud noise coming in my head, said, bro. Charlie, get over here. Man, it's guns, and you gonna pick up a knife. Charlie, I hope you die. I, I really do. I, I I just really do. See, you see how that one didn't get me because I turned my sound down. Joe, I hate to say it. <clears throat> the Chinese do it right. You shouldn't ask for your force. You finna die. I'm not finna save you. Who that little boy? Man, if you don't shoot him, he got a knife. Let that fool have it. You, either he transparent or you flicked it. <laughs> Joe, did you just die from a heart attack? Charlie go. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! Who the hell is that? Who cut the Whoa, whatever that is, that ain't human. That thing got four arms. <laughs> Yeah, the one over that China mess with that foreign shit. Now look at you. Mm hmm. I don't feel bad for y'all. That, that, that's what happened. Learn to leave your stuff alone. Whatever them bosses was, they had that Duff skull on you. You should have left it alone. Now y'all did.
Hello. And welcome to my repository. What's that music you guys saying in the back, man? That's that sound like that Zaytoven. Or is that that Beethoven? Turn that up though, man. Why are we sitting up here waiting on you? Did I hear that? They used to go ham when they used to come on. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. There's lotion for anybody to ask. The story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass, and we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Was I supposed to answer that? In life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Man, I ain't gonna get now, but nobody killed, bro. Trust me, because I'm smart. Look, you get some, whatever catch you, it catch you. I'm not coming back to save you. You're on your own. <coughs> brother Willie innocent yeah I don't like him already something about him I don't like Alex motivated bash brother Julie's boyfriend insecure oh damn I think we got enough if we run out we can always call for backup so uh look I've never been down there before down the water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I had to work, fool. I wanted to. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool, capiche? Damn, hey, your own brother don't like you? Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just, when you're in medical school, it'd be stressful, you know? Total shocker. No, um, they ain't got nothing to do with that. Long distance thing, Julia, it's been rough. Man, call him, man. I ain't been number two weeks. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, 
I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Did our relationship just go down? It'll be all right. He's mad because I called him out. It's only been two weeks. I, I guarantee he hey. cheated on her, too. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice. You can ask him to marry you? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you know. Yeah. Oh. Know what I thought he was going to ask her to do? Hey. Julia, hey, he got him one of them. He got him one of those snow bunnies. That's our old boy from, uh, what's the last play of the quarter break? <coughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Man, that girl ain't got no ass. You really did that, bro. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Nah, man. I ain't never did it before. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Pause? Man, you gotta say pause behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Damn, flicks kind of fine. She had that big ass I Rihanna head, but she fine. Home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. That boy trying to pay for it already? Oh. Oh, well then, all right. Look at this fool over here throwing up. That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to yeah. go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Little boy. See those hot pits. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Why they keep making us change? No warning. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, that kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Fliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. 
We are ready to die. Oh, hell no. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities. Uh, technically, uh, we should leave. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Hell no. Wait. Are you saying we shouldn't die? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. Which the white folks always wanna go do stuff that they ain't got no business messing with. Can you imagine? Untouched? It's cursed. What? Take your white ass down there. Go ahead and go. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Right o. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Where he go? This little, he kind of went too far. This little small ass boat. Hey hey. Almost got the gear. Good to go. Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to keep me from doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers. I'm trying to save and you. And then we'll go but... through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. She's trying to save your white ass, but you don't want to listen. Go ahead and dive down there. So I'm going to kill you. And I'm about to try to save you. All this on this little ass boat? He ain't in here. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Well, she got that uh, perfume. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. <laughs> he trying to say it stank low key. Oh man. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Can we talk to her? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys got to respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I've dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on. You see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Damn, she ain't playing at all. Talk to the boy from, uh... There's a little gap in the tail. Quarter break. Take a look.
That's Amelia Earhart playing, bro. Hold on. Y'all ain't slick. Y'all thought we, we forgot about that, huh? All right, man. We didn't want to do the ugly-ass pictures. When the hell did he go over here? Hey. Hey, back. Man, we got some good stuff on the camera. Yeah, you did. I just want to say this is by far the most stiffest boat I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> this boat is not even reacting to the waves. Watch this one on pause. Oh. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Thanks a lot. Let's go to end. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate. Take that one. Are those two going in or what? Like, I know the weight is interminable, but soon. I got the bank stick. Bang bang! About you. Ha ha! Right, you ever kids. have to use one? Good On a shark? Go. Nope. Just remember the rules, please. Take that too, man. We need everything. Is that a swordfish in the back? On camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. That's an ugly ass picture she just took, but all right. Souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than I thought. That's what she said. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Man, she just... Hmm. There you go, bro. You messed up. Listen to that white girl. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Really need to focus. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? He want to know too much, but I ain't gonna tell him. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least- Boy, trying to shoot a shot. Bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Nah, we don't need that. I built this business from scratch. I took out a loan on my boat, and that's all the help I need. Thanks. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I know that one down.
We gotta keep the, the, the black folks alive, man. What you want, bro? Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> Watch this. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. You think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, man. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Oh. I'm just just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. Oh. <laughs> Better one up. That boy got happy. Hey. Weather looks clear. Yeah, we're good. Mm. I have to keep an eye on those clouds. Hell no, that's a hurricane down there. Uh oh. It's getting mighty crowded out here. What buddy doing down here? How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Interesting. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. Hmm. That relationship went up. Well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something for you? I can think of a few things. Oh, do tell. Mm, maybe later, if you stay on my good side. Oh, they trying to get it on and popping after this. Y'all ain't sleep. I don't see nothing out there. We are good. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Can't nobody answer their phone, huh? <clears throat> what are you supposed to do now?
born in 83. She 5'8. Ooh, wait, 120. That's why she ain't got no ass either. What's that about? Who is he, people? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? You got a blammer on here? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let Look me handle me. it. This is my, I'm that. the captain now. I hope y'all brought a gun out here. Oh my God. Guys, you gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water. Got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. Your dumb ass the one who ran into him? Uh, Ten bucks cover it. Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Why is you Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Stop throwing money at them, bro. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh my god, why are you so ignorant? And what the hell are they doing down here? Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. I hope that little damn rest ain't stab you on your way in there. Oh, I almost got a messed up with that fast. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Oh, let him go. I'll just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. The hell was that? Yeah, one the deep. Let me see it again. Is she panicking or something? Let me. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to go back and look at these pictures. I think that's the same one I just looked at. Keep going. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? She just gonna be a dead? No, nah, go ahead and take your ass in there. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. She do got little, little cheeks to it, just a little smile. Bro, is that an octopus? Almost got stuck. You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. 
Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. They were on their way to help out a ship. I think it's the same ship, too. We was on earlier with Joe and Charles. Is that a bullet? She said don't touch nothing. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Well, okay, we now we know how the plane got down here was shot down. Turn around, let's hit this stuff. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Yeah, that ain't nothing. Q-boat. It's missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something look like his family why y'all go... wow what the hell happened here a little look at things they knew they were goners uh you hear that let's check it out I didn't know you can hear nothing in the water. They thought they had me. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Oh, he got shot in the head though. Check his skull out. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the purpose of doing this? Uh, uh, oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! Uh, uh. Why do we have to use a knife? Get out of here now. It's that gray white. You better shark. use some. Now there's a shark. Now come at me, shark. It's a gray weed shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then. Didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I. I. I oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I. I, I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Yeah, go on, say yeah. Alex, wow. 
what a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out. You. <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? What the hell did they, did they do? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa. Damn. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. We, we have to decompress. We gotta go. Sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <laughs> oh my God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now, go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? Are oh, they making a grill? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Why well, the ass can't cook? Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Y'all seen what's wrong with her eye? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Definitely. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Mm, somewhat. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. 